there would be huge. Speaking of Philadelphia, Jalen Hurts, breakout year? Absolutely. I, I, I truly feel like this is the Philadelphia Eagles division to lose. With what they've done in the draft, the free agent bringing in A.J. Brown, they are going to win this division. And I'm telling you right now, Jalen Hurts will be the best quarterback in this division this year. And oh. that includes Dak Prescott. He will be the best quarterback in this division. What they added, the way he uses his legs, the way he's comfortable in this offense, he is going to make plays. Dak Prescott has lost too much on that offensive side of the ball. Amari Cooper gone, Key Lyman gone. Jalen Hurts is going to be the best quarterback in this division. Eagles are going to win this division. Okay, so with that in mind, Scott Cowboys tied for the... Hello, everyone. This is Al Kabir, the analyst. And today, I will be talking Jalen Hurts. Yes, Jalen Hurts. Is he the best quarterback in the NFC East? And also, Andy Reid believing in Jalen Hurts. This is Al Kabir, the analyst. Um, just want to talk Jalen Hurts. Actually, before I even talk anything, I want to give my condolences to the families that was victims of the Touch a shooter with the children and teachers. I, I just couldn't imagine. I, I, that's all I'm going to say. I, I really couldn't imagine. I don't like the political games that's being pushed when this happened. If you right wing, left wing, it really doesn't matter. Wrong is wrong. Children lost their lives. Teachers lost their lives. And all you can do is pray. I couldn't imagine. That's some people reality today. I couldn't imagine. And that is some people reality today. Uh, guess I'm going to give a moment of silence for a minute. to rock out right here. Alright, so let's get back into Jalen Hurts, man. Ooh, it's heavy, man. Ooh, alright, Jalen Hurts. Is he the best quarterback in the NFC East? Um, I say I have to see it. I, I can't call him the best yet. I, I just can't. It's because this team is great on paper. I can't lie. A.J. Brown, Devontae Smith, Quez Watkins, Dallas Goddard. You still got a backfield in the Kenneth Gainwell and the Miles Sanders who can catch the ball out the backfield. I know Jalen Hurts work hard. I know he do all the right things. I actually know he can get better. It's just that I don't want to put him on that pedestal yet because I didn't see it yet. I have to see it. What he showed me last year is that he was the second best quarterback in the NFC East. Um, statistically and even on the field at times, you know, that Prescott was the best quarterback in the NFC East. But you strip away that Prescott weapons. I seen him really with no weapons. I seen that Prescott with no weapons and he was horrendous. That's why they had to go get Amari Cooper. And now he basically only got one weapon in CD Lamb. We we'll see they boosting up this Tober guy or whatever they got out the draft. So we will see how Dak Prescott is. We will see how Jalen Hurts is. You add Jalen Hurts, you give him more weapons, and you take away weapons from Dak Prescott. We will see. But I think I think he can be the best quarterback in the NFC East. I think he can be better than um, Carson Wentz just based off intangibles alone. And then also if he bring it to the field and that Prescott shows me he's one of those quarterbacks that really get hot in the beginning of the season, but he eventually cools down. Whereas though Jalen Hurts, he will stay consistent and we need him consistently good. 
Um, Jalen Hurst has some games in there, sprinkle in there that he wasn't that good, but overall he had a pretty decent season. We're talking about five to eight touchdowns called back. Given those eight touchdowns, we're talking about 24 touchdowns and nine interceptions. Come on. Then you had a weird interception that bounced off a Dallas Goddard foot. And if you want to take that away, but we're not going to do the if, ands, or buts. He was 16 and 9. And that Prescott was the best quarterback in the NFC East. So I just got to see it to believe it. Let me say that. Now, Andy Reid. Andy Reid was on Jacob Media. Salute to Jacob Media. They doing big things. Um, hopefully one day, you know, they recognize me and I could come on their show one day. We'll we see if that day ever comes. But. Um, they doing they doing great things, and they had Andy Reid on, and Andy Reid respects Jalen Hurts' work ethic. Jalen Hurts got that work ethic that is built for Philadelphia. Obviously, got to show the production on the field, but look, the city will embrace him. One thing we like we like work ethic, we like leadership, all that other stuff. It's whatever, but those are two main things Philadelphia Eagles like. That's why certain players. We just couldn't get right with um, Carson Wentz. Naturally talented, but the work ethic was, uh, the leadership was, uh. So, and I think Jalen Hurts got those two things. He just got to show the production on the field. And I I think he's a starting QB in this league for a very long time. I really do. Work ethic, play like that, just don't come from any quarterback. And the way he handled himself, you don't see him in the media doing crazy stuff. You don't see him. Look, he, he, he's the guy you want on your team. Let me just say that. You just don't see what these other quarterbacks, because I don't want my YouTube channel to get dinged. I ain't going to state what some of these other quarterbacks do or some of these other players do. But you don't see Jalen Hurts doing those things. He looked like he's a young guy who has fun and also work hard. And I like that. And I were quarterback. I really do. Um, you don't really see nothing bad about him in the media. Besides, of course, critiquing his game. But you don't see nothing personally bad about him. Even the guys that don't like him. Like, well, you do got the leadership. But can he really play? Those, the, you know, the critics and detractors. And I think he's going to prove them wrong. And like he say, he don't want to prove anybody wrong. He just want to prove himself right. I like that quote. But, um, hey, man, J- oh, I think his name James Jones, and I played that clip in the beginning. He do not like the Eagles. So for him to say he believes Jalen Hurts will be the best QB in the NFC East, salute to him. Um, and also, do you believe what Andy Reid is saying? Do you think he's a quarterback that will fit the Philadelphia Eagles? And do you think we got one? Do you think we got one? But this is Al Kabir, the analyst. Ghost.